Ooh, boy. Okay, we're gonna do this. Here we go. We crashed, but we're back in it. And luckily we saved. This is it. Oh, we got this. Okay, so... I looked over the footage before I started. I grabbed a bunch of torches. And... I don't want that one. I grabbed a bunch of torches. And I... Warmed up a bunch of teas. And also justified my reasoning for sprinting out into the cold. Which, to be true to the previous video, is what I'm gonna do. That crash was pretty good. It was so dumb. The game just crashed out there. I don't want that one. You could throw a torch in the wind. Oh no, it's fine. Lord forbid you try and carry a torch. And I drink a birch tea. I wanted to get some healing going. Another warm up. Start picking the stuff up. And then we go. Go. I should have picked up the Queen Wood. Oh well. Seriously? Seriously? In the snow? In a blizzard? Is that how we do? Fine, fine, fine. Another one? Yeah, I don't know where I'm going. Ah, uh, he's fine, he's fine. You have a marine flare. I assume if I mind my own business, don't mind his. Okay, this is good. This is kind of where I want to be. Kind of where I was expecting to be. So I am going the right direction. Probably based off of what I think the map is. You got those Timbies sitting out there. Uh. Tell you what. We're not at a competitive speed. So it's fine to lose time. Because we're not winning. Like, we're not winning the tournament. That's for sure. But we don't have to win the tournament. We just have to win the challenge. You know what I mean? You feel me? Like, that's the distinction. I mean, it's, it's good to, like, know what you're going for, right? Okay, and it's snowing, so, like... Oh, I say snow. It's, it's a blizzard. The moose ain't gonna spawn. If I'm going the right direction, am I? I think I am. I think this is the lake. All I know is just I'm trying to hug the left side of the map. Best I can. 
stay warm as best I can. Kinda hard to stay warm in a blizzard. I've been fortunate to get like no blizzards up to now. I got two coals. Yeah, we're just burning time. I think the blizzard stopped. Can you eat trees? Careful for the moose. Okay, so the cannery is there. So the direction I want to go is this way. Just be careful. Don't go too hard. Play smart. Is that a Timberwolf? Yeah, it's a Timberwolf. Did I say I hate being cold? Because I really do. There's no need to intentionally aggro Timberwolves. That's just foolish. Careful, careful. Right. We're doing okay. We're doing fine. We're gonna have to build a fire. Oh, so cold. I wanna do it on the other side of this ice, so. Right here. I have a book. I've had a few books for a while. We're gonna do this. We're gonna complete this tournament. We're gonna do it. Come on, little fire! Come on, little fire! I believe in you. Oh, lucky day. Put up the torch. Hopefully that wind isn't too strong. Food. Did that fire just go down? It did. We can support it with sticks though. We still get the warmth bonus. I have a few sticks. Just warm up the teas best we can. Okay, we're doing good. Oh yeah, and drop that. And well, I really don't need that many things. I mean, I guess if I can support this fire, just for a little bit. Trying to maximize my time with this fire. Too windy for a torch. Okay, so if we come across Timbies. We'll need, uh, we'll need to use my last flare. But if I'm correct, if I follow the left side of this map on the way to the cave, I should avoid Timberwolf packs. At least that's what I do when I play casually. But I've always had weapons, so I've always had a backup. I just have a torch. 
But it's fine, because we're the main character. I keep saying that, but it's true. There's power in having plot armor. Okay, this game has permadeath. You don't have plot armor, but... You know, plot armor is really just a state of mind. You know? I mean, it's established that you, you, the person watching this, are the protagonist. And if you truly believe it, then you can't be defeated. And even if you get that game over screen, well, guess what? You have autosave. And you're probably thinking, but I don't have autosave. My save got deleted. It's called new game. You can't be defeated. Not permanently. I mean, maybe your file got deleted, but you know, that file wasn't worthy of your efforts. You know what is worthy though? That new game you're about to start. That's right. You remember that, you beautiful so-and-so. Risky, risky. I don't know if a moose is here, but I want that birch. Okay. Where even is the cave? Is it up here? Is it around here? Did I pass it? It's been a while. So, you know. I think it's further along this way. <laughs> okay, that was scary. What if the cave is over here? <laughs> I really hope it is. I'm losing time on this. I mean, I've told myself a million times already that time doesn't matter. Because I'm already way behind. That moose just terrified me. I saw my game flash before my eyes. Oh, this one's so hot. Heat bonus. Yeah, it is not here. Okay, we gotta walk past the moose. But we know where he is. We know where he is. And he didn't charge. He got grumpy though, but he did not charge. Fire. Fire. Means we are still alive. So just Keep in mind where he's at. Take the risk and get the birch. Okay. Wide berth. There might be a flare in here. Worth checking. My speed run has stopped becoming a speed run. I can see why the community has started doing bleak first. The cold is making my head okay, there it is. The moose is scarier when you can't see him, you know? Just run across, run across. It's like, it's like going over a hill and there being a wolf or guts and then a bear just right there, an inch in front of your face, and you're not ready for it. 
Okay, we have done the Fleek Inlet. Thank the Lord. Let's get inside this cave. The last thing we gotta do is we gotta get a broken railroad. We gotta get the recipe from there. And we gotta go to Forsaken Airfield. We have to get the radio. I forgot about that. We have to actually get the radio. Then get the um the hoosing of what's it? What do you call it? What do you call it? The recipe. And then sleep for an hour. And let's pick up some coals while we're in this cave. Literally anything will help. I wonder if the rabbit spawned. That'd be nice. Hey, dude. Yeah, just in case. Just in case. Hey, a marine flare. Oh. Oh. Dick. Dick. Nice. Oh, warming up the stomach. Just a little bit. Is this the exit cage? I'm trying to question that. Yeah, it is. I was like, are there any other caves? It's just I, I haven't taken this path in a long time. Okay, this is where the rapid's at, right? Or if you further... see him. Probably asleep. Yeah. Just burn one of my 50,000 torches. Oh, we're right here at the exit. Let's take the time to warm up. That's embarrassing. Use a book. Trees. Oh, I don't have enough water. That's fine. can pass some time by crafting. Just warm up a little bit. Drink a birch tea to warm up the rest of the way. We in the thing. We in it. Let's go. It's a beautiful day. Alright, so. 
We can't mess this up. This is where the run began. Well, actually, it began in Broken Railroad, but we're pretty much right there. Forlorn Musk Egg, so. In reality, the run starts in Pleasant Valley. Oh, why is it Pleasant Valley? Forlorn Musk Egg. If anything, this would be a Pleasant Valley. There are wolves right there. And this wind is picking up. I'm going this way. Well, dang it. Yeah. I have two marine fires. I can eat a horse. I can do this. I don't have any normal flares, which sucks. I mean, marine flares were great for the timber wolves, but in this situation, normal flares would have been preferred because of just a longer burn time. When the game is pulling out all the stops now, it's trying to get me loose with how far I've come this ice week. Okay. I need to collect cats of stocks. I need some food just to keep the buff alive. Alright. We're gonna make it. We've gotten past that pack of wolves. Cross, cross, cross. Okay, we're good. Pretty good. I do have the advantage of sprinting, which I don't imagine a lot of players would, but that's just because I took a lot of time to rest, because I kind of gave up on it being a fast time, and just wanting to actually finish, you know? <clears throat> If we're looking at a five day finish, there's a wolf right there to the left. He'll probably see me. Unless I cross here. No, I don't like that. We're gonna get there. Whoa. That was weird. Okay. My character like stuttered there. I wonder what causes that. Okay, we're gonna get on the train track and then it's a straight shot. With the exception of maybe a wolf or two on the tracks. I think we got this. We can probably follow along this way a bit. Nah. No, that just kind of goes backwards. And I think the wolf is right there. Okay, turning this corner, I want to have a flare ready. Just in case. I think we're safe. There's a wolf to the left. I see him. Alright, we don't have any heat. Well, we're not freezing, but you know what I mean. Kind of getting close to that wolf. 
Let's sprint to get away from him. Okay. We can do this. Gotta get to the hunting lodge. I can't feel my feet. Grab the recipe. And then it's off to the DLC. Alright. I don't see any wolves. They kind of blend in sometimes. I want these cats out of that. This wind is up aggressive. I should be able to build a fire. Uh, in Broken Railroad. A torch back there. Oh, it's from when I came from uh, Mountain Town. Damn, I'm freezing. I'm gathering my cookbook. Okay, another big obstacle that can stand in my way is a bear. There is a possibility of a bear being here, which I have to be really careful for. Not just any bear, a great big bear. They call him the Great Bear. Of Great Bear. Honestly, I think it would be pretty cool if, like, for these tales that they're doing, if, like, you can trigger an event that awakens, like, the Great Bear from the campaign, the story mode, and, like, you have to go through a series of steps to, like, kill him. Like, the way the, the story mode tells it, it's more like a spirit animal, like an undying spirit, but maybe, like, there's like cool special things you have to do to like banish him but then that kind of gets into like dark walker territory but i think that would be cool they're coming out with the uh the mines for part four One little fire in december i think and that's gonna be pretty cool stuff they're talking about. <sighs> Having like poison as a mechanic. I don't know if I like the whole scurvy thing. Like I just wonder how that'll play out. Because I don't know to eliminate the whole scurvy thing. You need to have a renewable food source that will give you the uh, vitamin C that they were talking about. I mean, you can probably get it from animals. I don't know. And the character's tiring out, and it's almost nighttime. I imagine we'll have the recipe by night. If it can be nighttime and I'm going into the DLC area, that would be nice. The wind is probably still too strong, but I'll grab a torch or two. Yep.
put that away. Grab my flare. Just for safety. I know there's a wolf that hangs out in the left there. So tired I could lay down right Although here. Although he shouldn't bother me. But there's probably gonna be a wolf or two on the tracks leading to um, the maintenance yard, which I do want to go inside the maintenance yard and get coal out of there. Because there's going to be a deposit of coal by the forge. Which would be great. I'm not going to take the casual route, because I'm not a casual. I'm going to go. It took me so long as a casual player to realize I can do this. Like, I sincerely thought that I had to, like, you know, go over there, down into, like, the river, and go across the tree and all that, or I could literally just do what I just did, and boom, I'm on the other side. No problem. I think in the story mode, they put stuff in the way that doesn't allow you to do that, but I think there's like a cutscene around here. No, that cutscene's further on. Just wait and kind of make me feel like I haven't played it in a long time. So I really like the Winter Mute stories. Episode 3 was kind of... Eh, I wasn't a fan of it. It was nice playing as Astrid. It had some cool things happening. But the whole mini game with... I, I call it a mini game. Rescuing those survivors. Just having to like haul them while being chased by jungle wolves and having to drop them and then pull out your gun, it was just so uh, tedious. They just kind of ruined the experience. But on the same token, it really is kind of an immersion building. Because, like, you're literally, like, playing the role of a doctor and Astro's a doctor and like, you're saving people's lives and all that. Quite incredible. But really, it's... It's nice. Okay, coming up on the maintenance yard. I was about to say there will be wolves. And I see a wolf before I could even say that. Maybe I can sneak by him. Uh-huh, <laughs> sucker. But there are other wolves. Most likely. Keep an eye open. I didn't hear it open. Wolves, you'll most times hear them before you see them. Like all that howling right there. Yeah. There's a wolf. I want to make it inside and save the player. Dusk, so I can't be far behind. All right. Oh. Warm up a bit. Eat. Get food. Get water. Free tea. Uh, books, all important. 
We came here for coal primarily, but we're looking at other stuff too. Three calls? Eh, I'll take it. I think the difficulty kind of determines how much you get. Warm up the teas real quick. Come on, little fire. Come on, little fire. Don't make me look stupid. Sounds like a full blown blizzard, I said. That's not. The wind died down? No. Alright, we have our flare ready. Our safety flare. I see wolves already. I hear them. There's a deer. In theory, if you're next to deer, that means you're safe. It's just a theory, then. It's worked out for me pretty well. We're getting to the place, the hunting level. We got this. We have a lot of health because we slept a lot. Just out of necessity. But the roar of Timbies are kind of intimidating, and I wasn't about to lose a run to Timberwolves. If an aurora is gonna happen, that would be awful. I mean, it's a clear sky. Oh, so it might. And the fact that I said something means the chances are rough. face for this last little bit. Come on. Come on. There's totally gonna be wolves here. I see rabbits. That's good. Rabbits are distraction. Oh, 
Sure, we're getting cold. There's the wolves. But they're way over there. Have I been detected? Yeah. Well, yeah, he's going for the rabbit. Just like I planned. I wish I could say I actually planned that. I mean, I was expecting it, but... I think there's a difference between planning something and things just kind of working out the way that you hoped it would. Alright, recipe. If I were a recipe, I would be in a kitchen. That's where I would be. Right? Yeah. Cooking oil. This would be a great time to also pick up food. Find any. Looks like this has been here a while. Yeah, you're in okay condition. But give me food poisoning. Maple syrup. I'll take. Salty crackers. Any coal? Into blood. I'll take it. Anything out in the open, very obvious. Anything juicy. I don't feel like going upstairs. And I just want to continue. I need to warm up. I need to warm up. That's what I need to do. Don't be in too big of a hurry. Let's warm up. Come on, little fire. All we have to do is get out of broken rib. So, oh yeah, oh, okay. that's a good one. Let's put some fuel in there before I start doing inventory. So I think it's under here. Unique recipe. I have seven, which means I have everything. If the prepper's pie, you're just not gonna get it, you know? In a way. I think you can go in here. Yeah, that's an easy goat right there. <gasps> Just watch out for the bear. My fire. I'm so nervous. Okay, a doe, a deer, a female deer. Gray. A drop of golden sun. Me. A man. I call myself. Pa. Ah. A long, long way to Forsaken Airfield. <laughs> Rabbit. Rabbits are good. We like rabbits. 
I never noticed that there was a building here. I wonder if it's, like, if on a lower difficulty it might actually be a functional building rather than burnt down. I heard that. I heard that too. Making me nervous, game. Don't kill me when I'm so close. I've been good to you. That's the rope climb to go down below. I'm up. You can't sprint. This is an Aurora, isn't it? I don't know, the sky looks kind of colorful for a moment. It's getting dark. It's like really dark. Okay, well, we're gonna be inside some tunnels soon. So we can use our torch here. And it should be warm in the tunnels. So we'll be warming up. Naturally. We just gotta get to the railroad. Good. Yeah. I'm really proud of myself for the whole ravine and Bleak Inlet, the Timberwolves, man I did good. Be careful there, there might be a wolf. I'm scared, I'm going to use this way. I didn't have to use a flare, but I did. I was worried about turning that corner and there being a wolf point blank. I'll take it. Arrowhead. Nice. Guess we're on our way. Am I not going to warm up inside these cells? <sighs> oh, I guess not. <sighs> we are on our way. We are getting there. <coughs> Main character. Let's go. Do this quickly before my game crashes. 
I don't want any kind of computer crash happening. Because I was lucky that it crashed right after I saved earlier. Ooh, that won't really be helpful for me. I'm not going to use the, uh... Oh no. I do need the pry bar, I think. Do I? Let's just grab it in case. I forget which route has the pry bar. If going down, use the pry bar or not. I need to go down. So this area is pretty thing. Marine play. I think it all worked out. If this game had zombies, I would put them in here. This way, because I wanted to go. Right, yeah. And it's. I don't think there are any walls down here. Ah. I don't remember any walls. I've only made this trip like four times. It's not too windy, so I can have my torch. Which will keep me alive. Grab some sticks. There's a the hypothermia. It's fine because so we're about to eat the cave. And we're going to start naturally heating up again. If only for a day for now. Oh. Okay. We can also grab some coals in here if we see it. Because as for coals, we have four. I would like to have eight. Eight would be a nice number. Uh, that's six. Oh, food. Drink the six. Brain. Keep pushing. Gotta fight for it. Yeah. 
I saw that. <clears throat> you sneaky devil. Okay, now is the time to warm up. Fire attempt failed. Come on, little fire. Come on. Come on, little fire. Perfect. We use the reclaimed yeah. wood. We can pick up two level T's. Oh, let's put that up and do the tomato soup. Back on my ice and tomato soup sounds really good. Like for real soup. Make a roast of tea, warm up even more. Grab another torch. We're warming up. We got three down arrows. That's okay. We have a lot of health that we can burn. But let's try to keep that to a minimum. to the transit hub a very small area not really a lot happening in the transit hub I mean, I haven't deeply explored it but honestly there's like nothing here I honestly thought it was going to be something huge like Mystery Lake or something I don't know, with something like Transit Hub, I was thinking like an intermodal, if you guys have ever seen that, it's like, just basically imagine like rail cars stacked on top of each other and cranes and all that, I thought it was going to be a big thing, but it's really just a shack in the middle of the map and a bunch of roads leading out with, there's a wolf. Hello, guy. Okay. He's gonna be in our way. I wanna have another torch. A fresher torch. Okay. At least there's no Aurora. This is great. 
Where did they leave it? Well, I wonder if this is... This technically isn't the chance of that, is it? That might be. Oh no, it's not. Hands of heads up ahead. At least we have a brief amount of time overnight. If brief down arrows. Shiver me timbers. And it's just butt dark in here. Somehow. <clears throat> right, I think I'll warm up in the actual transit hub building. I'll listen to that music. You only get this kind of music in a DLC, let me tell you. been a long journey. I really hope my runs are accepted. It's a goddamn freezing. I've had two crashes in this attempt. It's gonna be a four part video. Or four videos. I'm gonna upload them to YouTube. In order. But, uh, yeah, I just, I hope I followed my steps closely enough, because I know they're going to be scrutinized. But I just got stuck on some terrain there. The downside of auto-walking. I'm freezing a little bit. I'm not worried. I wonder why owls don't freeze, you know, like, what kind of owls can survive in
Come on, little fire. Oh, do I... I already searched that. Yeah. Okay. Warming up. Everything in me just wants to charge off to airfield. The warm up. And I have maple syrup. Wish you could heat it up. There's a toilet in here, right? The uh Oh. Ah. I have nothing to cook? Oh, I got some stuff I can craft though. Oh, that's fine. I can make a rose hit. Oh, I hear that weather building up. Cook. Cook. Warm. 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 Warm it. Warm it. Warm it. We're gonna survive. We are gonna survive. And I will survive. I will survive. Uh -huh. Ain't nothing here. This is it. Let's go to the airfield. Let's finish this run. Let's be done with that tournament. Assuming the game doesn't crash, or my computer crashes, we're gonna be in the airfield. By sunrise. And we would have had our first successful run. Like six days, I think. But, you know, that's impressive for me. Because I'm not a speedrunner. I had really good pace at the start. <clears throat> but I just struggled to maintain that pace. And then just had to sleep nine hours in Ash Canyon. <clears throat> had to sleep nine hours in Ash Canyon just to stay alive. And I slept in another nine hours in Desolation Point just to wait for sunrise and also heal. And then I slept another nine. In Bleak Inlet, just to get rid of the Aurora and Valkyrie, and at that point I kind of gave up having a competitive time, and I was more focused on just finishing. But I'm proud of myself. Very proud.
wonder if there's a way that I could like, put all these videos together. I don't want to have to upload four separate videos. Could be possible, right? I'll have to look into it after I'm done. Yeah, I think it would be easier for stuff than if uh, I just made one video instead of four, because this will be the fourth installment of this run. We're still warm. Let's heat up so we can keep pushing. Hey, rabbits. Oh, my wife is going to be home soon. That's nice. She can watch me finish this tournament I've been telling her all about. <coughs> oh, man, my throat's stuffy. Mm. I got matches for days. Matches for days, matches for days. We're gonna do it. We're gonna do it. Making my way downtown, walking fast, all the I can say it. Da -na -na -na. It's cold out. Da -na -na. I'm freaking da -na -na. Yeah. Did not grab the stick. I tried. I tried. All right. Here we go. We're gonna do it. Oh, something smells good. I live in an apartment. One of my neighbors. Oh, they're cooking something. Hmm. It kind of smells like chicken and dumplings. Oh, I have everything I need to make chicken and dumplings. I plan to do that tomorrow. Since my ever lovely wife is going to be so busy doing schoolwork, for once I'm going to be a blessing to her and cook for her. She always cooks for me. So. Be nice to the girl. Alright, alright. Okay, all the teas are uh, cold now. In this economy, it makes sense. I wonder if you can go down here. I need to find some place to escape this cold. I've never done it. I'm not going to attempt it. I'm literally going to take the long way. I cannot see. There we go. Okay, first time coming to Forsaken Airfield. It was a real treat walking across that turn there and just getting the amazing view of the whole landscape like they did that on purpose just to show it off and i appreciate it it looks so good good job hinterland there's the ominous music you know always darkest before the dawn i've said that multiple times about this run and I mean it literally because I can barely see. This is so cold. I just want to lay down for a bit. This would be time to warm up. Come on, little fire. I picked up, I picked up some books, I think. Right.
Yeah, I have a book. I should have been doing this the whole time, but I haven't. That's uh, a weak torch. That's a good torch. That's a good torch. I don't imagine I need too many torches. It's not terribly far to the airfield. Alright, keep going. coming up a little bit. I should gain visibility again soon. There isn't really any wind, so I'll be able to scare off wolves. I have two marine flares. Really bad scenario. I think we got that. I am not goading. I don't know this area well enough. I don't know if there's kill planes here. I'm gonna follow the path. I don't know if they need to patch it, but I know that uh, Forsaken Airfield is like the most blizzard heavy map ever. Like, seriously, I've had like seven day long blizzards on this map in like one of my playthroughs. I, I always get a blizzard here, it always lasts forever, and then I have like an hour and then another blizzard starts up again. I don't know if there's like some fine tuning we need to do. I mean, it makes Pleasant Valley look nice. And that place is known for its blizzards. So. Ah, oh, Sam. Hinterland Studio. If you ever see this. I love your game, but fix it. That's an order. From the community. With love. Hugs and kisses. Hey, Rabbit. You scared me for a moment. You're gonna do it. Gonna do it. Like the final stretch.
sun will come out tomorrow. My fingers feel numb. I also need to get a screenshot. Picking out of this one. Okay. We go to the radio tower. Grab the radio. We get the last recipe for Grandma's cookbook. And then we go inside a plane and the chances. On little fire. Man, that'd be so funny if a bear, a moose, and like the dark walker all showed oh, up at the same time right now. It'd just be like, oh you thought. <laughs> In fact, she's gonna walk through that door. She's gonna be really happy to see me. She'll be like, oh, you're on a computer. Oh, that food smells good. I need to become friends with any of Just for the food. Not necessary. 
And I swim in the dark, but now it's lightening up. Visibility should increase. The air filled. Did I say I hate being cold? Because I really do. I can see the tower. like a smooth set. Here it is. The hangar. And we're freezing. But it's fine. Let's just get done. really started to think this was impossible. But thanks to the community, what do you know? I learned it's enough about this game to make it possible. I mean, big shouts out to uh, Golden for just, I don't know, just kind of being my uh, other private tutor. Radio. Oh, it deactivates your torch. Wait, wait, wait. Breaker one nine, Grandma, do you come in? I'm ready for pickup. I got your cookbook ready. I'll be in the hangar. Oh, yes, Jerry. I received your loud and clear. I'll be there in about an hour. And for Grandma. All right, Grandma's coming. She's going to pick us up in her private jet. And we're going to leave Great Bear.
Mm-mm. We're going inside the plane. Taking a back seat. I think that's it. I think that's it. I have eight of nine recipes. Five days, 21 hours. There it is. Run complete, my dudes. See y'all next time.